Looking for some company, honey pie? I'm always available for riveting conversations with fine women. I'll rivet you to the floor if you call me that again. I like a woman who's all business. <laughs> Here, talk about the Darkspawn. Oh, you're one of those Grey Wardens. You find some Darkspawn, and sure enough, the Grey Wardens come knocking. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. Well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this Darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. In the chasm? Oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over our eyes. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the Maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... like an egg. I like eggs. <laughs> it looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. We tried to build over it. Well, people, I suppose. Maybe even the Darkspawn. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the Darkspawn appeared. Looks like you survived. How many were there? Uh, more than a brood and less than a horde. They seemed occupied, like they had someplace really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the Maker. The Darkspawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but it sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, we getting anything for our trouble? You know what? Here's some silvers for you. Thanks. This'll get me good and drunk at the inn. Take my mind off the trouble out there. You're not getting a sovereign for that. Ah, oh, can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust, but the freedom is in there, too. You really don't care for the Circle of Magi, do you? I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Maleficar, true or not, and executed me. Is the Circle of Magi so bad? The problem is that mages are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. I mean, I've met mages who are not like this, but mages are dangerous. Right. Too bad for us. Ugh. All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. That sounds reasonable. See? I knew you understood. Never mind me. Now and again, I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile. That's all. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. All right, I have nothing to hide. Thank you. I will make this quick. What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. What's wrong with those shields? I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Glad to see you're taking precautions. Is there anything I can do? We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. I heard a shield texture's broken. I don't even know how to start fixing that. I don't know what shield that might even be. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. What exactly is happening here? With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. How do I find these said smugglers? There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. Greetings, could I interest you in... Uh... Wait a minute. My lad said they saw you talk into the... You'll learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. Excuse me? Um, okay. As you wish. I just got into the city, but alright. Okay. Let's make this quick, shall we? Kill it. Let's get started. I understand you have things to say, Anders, but we're in the middle of a fight. 
surrender and we'll be merciful. That's a lie, and you know it. Warden Commander, thank the Maker you're finally here. I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Are you Mervis? Yes. Thank you for coming to the Guild. We need your help. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes. And th there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. That seems excessive. You suspect this is Darkspawn? We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? I'll look into it if I find the time. I suppose I have to be content with that. It is better than nothing. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. Oi, about time you showed up. The Mayor, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cash is here in Amaranthine. It is? You, you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Word of advice. Don't let him sweet-talk you. He's very good at that. Uh, I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. Uh, a bit, yeah. Friends of yours, I take it? Do I detect a note of jealousy? Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. You don't seem very good at eluding them, my friend. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. But you're a Grey Warden now. They shouldn't be able to, you know, bother you. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages and the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. Alright, if that's what you want. It is. It really is. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. Any luck with the smugglers? They attacked me, and I think I found their abandoned ho house that may lead to their den. That house has been locked up for years. To think that all this time it's been hiding the entrance. There will surely be someone on guard. Where there's a guard, there's a key. I'll investigate. If you can find a way into the hideout, the smugglers won't have a chance. Good luck, Commander. Oh, it is so good to see you, my friend. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. What happened? The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Indulge me. These events affect more than just the mages. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage. But they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. That is troubling. Well, it could turn out to be nothing. But keep your ear to the ground anyway. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Inus, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. What is she doing in the Wending Wood? Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, 
Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason, something we could use on our side. The hour is late and I must go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. Bye, Wynn. Something I can do for you, friend? Did a Grey Warden named Kristoff come through here? And who were you supposed to be that's asking? I would be his commander. Oh, welcome, my lady. I haven't seen that fellow Kristoff for almost a week now. Not sure where he went. His room's paid up to the end of the month. I guess he expected he'd be here a while. Did you ever speak to Kristoff? Not much. He chatted up Sorsha a bit when she brought him his dinner. Maybe talk to her. I like the, the key to Kristoff's room. Of course. Here you go. It's the last room at the end of the hall. If he comes back and gets upset, however, it's on your head. Look into wet your whistle, stranger. I understand you spoke to Kristoff. We chatted a bit. He was a friendly sort for a Grey Warden. Spent most of his nights here drinking. Wasn't ever loud or too forward. Haven't seen him for maybe a week now. Did he ever talk about what he was doing? Said he was tracking some Darkspawn. One particular group that's been raiding outside the city. He told me they were acting strange, those Darkspawn. Acting obvious, like they wanted to be caught or something. I expect he caught them. Probably why he hasn't been back, right? Where did he go? Do you know? No. He took a lot of notes while he drank. Always writing things down. Maybe there's something in his room. So just how friendly were you two? We chatted, like I said. He's married, as I recall. All right. Thanks for the answers. My pleasure. Send him my best when you see him. You in town have heard anything about Darkspawn stragglers. I doubted reports myself until a man told me he encountered Darkspawn in the Black Marsh. Although locals say the marsh is haunted, brave and desperate souls like this man still risk collecting peat. Man said their leader spoke, but all know Darkspawn cannot talk. More horrifying, he described the monster, a worm with legs. Clearly he was mistaken about it following the Darkspawn. I shall leave for the Black Marsh in the morning. The journals of Kristoff. Delilah? Is that really you? Nathaniel! I had feared the worst. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else. What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. I was so glad to get away from Father's evil. This life is so much better. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him, without question. I... had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother, let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back, once all this is done. Meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said Father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. Um, yeah, he did. I tried to tell you that he was garbage. Glad you finally understand what happened when he murdered my family. I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? Maybe he was never who you thought he was. I suppose not. I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. Must keep calm, keep before. normal. I yes, you not everything is fine. You have no idea how my life changed that day your father betrayed us. I know that now. I still have this feeling inside. Hate. Hurt. Failure. I just can't let it go. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? How are you supposed to know, anyway? I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. I feel like such a fool. I understand. I owe you an apology. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we're all making up. We're all buddies now. Let's kill this woman. Must keep calm. Must keep calm. Hey. Must. Must. 
Must keep calm, keep normal. Yes, every. Get her. Ow, that one bit me. There we go. It figures, actually. What does? There used to be another statue here. It was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. He died in the rebellion, helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. Your father was a traitor. You can't be surprised by this. Right. That's what everyone keeps saying, isn't it? There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callan had. Now it's all gone. Curse my father and his idiot ambition. He lost everything for us, didn't he? Yep. He certainly did. But now it's up to you to turn that around. Not too much pressure, right? I wonder what happened to the old statue. Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. Yeah, statues of her pigeons. I don't want to look at it. No guards. Maybe they don't want to draw attention to the cash. Could we be that lucky? No. No, we are not going to be that lucky. 100% going to be a trap. And here I almost believe the infamous Anders wouldn't take the bait. Ha! Yes. I suppose I should have known it would be you. You made a poor choice with this one, Commander. Anders will never submit. Not to us and not to you. He has made a fine Grey Warden so far. So far, yes. I'll make sure that this murderer is never a bother to anyone again. What? No, you can't arrest me! King Alistair allowed my conscription. The Chantra's authority supersedes the crown in this matter. You cannot hide within the Grey Warden's ranks. No. He stays with us. Hardly surprising. The Grey Wardens have ever been a haven for criminals and Maleficar. I do not know how you inspire such loyalty, Anders. But it will avail you not. Now you come with us. Excuse me? I am Commander of the Grey and Queen of Ferelden. That overrides anything the Chantry has to say. This is like a bad adventure story. Not, not to mention the hero of Ferelden. Off with your head. The dogs will dine on your corpses. Hmm. I wonder if Nemea knew about this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. Hey, man, you're a friend. Friends stick up for each other. I guess they do. Anyhow, let's go before someone else rushes in to waggle a finger at us. I've thought about what you said, Anders. The comparison between my family and mages. It's idiotic. I'm not about to transform into an abomination simply for being a how. Well, I didn't say it was a perfect analogy. Being a how also does not allow me to control your mind. Kinda missing my point, aren't you? I am not a fan of oversimplifications. Fine, fine. Your loss. I mean, depending on your perspective, your dad did turn into an abomination. Abomination of morality. Anything to report? Magalhães will no longer trouble you because they're dead. The city of Amaranthine owes you a great debt. Thank you, Commander. You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. Seems like your father didn't remember that. Or maybe he did. It was my grandfather we're talking about. His name was Padrick How. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. And the Howls were never told? Told what? The joining is a secret. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. The only shame was your father's. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. 
At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are Darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. Yeah, uh, you are gonna pay me, right? For all that arse whipping I do for you? We get a stipend if the nobles pay their dues. A stipend? Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, what's a stipend? It's the money we pay you. Money? <laughs> now there's a word I understand. What an arrangement. You feed me and I get to take my frustrations out on the dark spawn. <laughs> anyway, can I have a pony? I bet you can't tell me what you just said. Whoa, everything's spinning. And you're very shiny. Oh, I'm gonna go sit down now. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? And go back to court, of course. Gotta be a queen and all that. Ah, the old ball and chain, huh? I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. Seven escape attempts. I got really good at escaping the tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. The only thing I ever missed about the circle was that cat, to be honest. And now you have a new one. So I do. How are you doing in there, Sir Bounce a lot? Ha! <laughs> You'll be a fine mouser yet. Can cats be Grey Wardens? Hmm. Yes? What can I do for you? Well, a little blurry here, buddy. Is that paint? Actually, it's Caddis. I brought it with me from High Ever, but I wasn't able to find it in all my baggage until now. Great, thanks. Be good for Doggo. Oh, please don't mention it. But really, don't. Don't mention it, because it will forever remind me of the hour I spent trying to get the paint off my new boots. <clears throat> In any case, here you are. Are you see-through? you surprised to see Ogren again? <laughs> Very much so. I certainly never thought I would find him here. It's been a long time and we haven't kept in touch. I would have imagined he would go back to Ozamar. So, are you happy to travel with your old companion? It's always good to travel with people you already know, that's for sure. But I figured he'd be in a drunken slumber in a tavern underground. And yet, things change so much, do they not? Ogryn, the father and husband. Now that was a surprise. Glad you two get along fine. Oh, that goes without saying. I hear you joined the Grey Warden's ranks recently? Yes, Commander. I joined the Grey Warden ranks just some months ago. I must say that I have not regretted it once. Even knowing that I will die young, fighting in the Deep Roads. Okay, but apart from that... It's pretty neat height, right? Uh, right. <laughs> well, why did you become a warden then? Because life would never be the same for me. I wouldn't have been able to live a normal life after what happened during the last blight. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. Obviously. Go on. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. But I don't suppose, you know, in your travels... I'm across any. I'll keep an eye out. I'll be here. Don't tarry too long. Got a wall to rebuild. <whistles> Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? It's just a statue. Sure, but Andraste was a real person once. Before she up and married the Maker, I mean. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing Majors to fight demons, or be made tranquil? Yeah, she might be confused by it all. No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker, but the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. But mages are dangerous. Sure, but we're not dragons. We can think for ourselves, usually. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. What a lovely place. Black Marsh. They say this marsh was once inhabited until one day everyone disappeared. 
That's a pleasant thought. Pretty old sign we used to beware. The Black Marsh is haunted. Oh, that's beautiful. I think those are blighted wolves. Yep. Blighted wolves. This creature is dead. Killed by Kristoff, perhaps. That answers that, I suppose. The Darkspawn are definitely here. Oh. oh, it's a blighted werewolf. This should be easy enough. Yes, that is your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. And the mother, she was right. The mother is always right. Did she say you'd pay for killing a Grey Warden? The mother, she is no prophet, but she is most clever. Oh, yes, that she is. I, here before you, is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. No. We have come to the fate as well. It cannot be this. You weren't first in your class, I take it. The mother, she has deceived me. I am betrayed. Now I am being trapped in the fate with you. Ah, I am the fool. I'll deal with you first and the mother later. I am thinking the mother, she cares not what happens to the first, so long as the Grey Warden is defeated. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. Back to the mother. Well, grubs can't stop me. Right. What was that thing? Who is the mother? Another darkspawn? Well, everything is bad. Literally everything. No, my lady, I did not forget. I merely... But I would never contradict your ladyship. No. I don't. No, please, my lady! Have mercy! No! No! Ah, no! That's not good. I am most sorry, mistress. You. You're not a spirit like everyone else. How did you get here? I didn't have a choice in the matter, actually. You were forced to come here? That's very strange. This is where my grandfather's ashes are buried. I come to visit him often. He was the last person to stay in Black Marsh. Once he passed, there was nobody left in the village who remembered. Who remembered? Remembered what? Remembered what happened to the village, of course. The marsh was full of people once. Then that evil woman came and changed everything. She... Oh no! They've come back again! Quick, come hide in the crypt! <laughs> and so you came. Fell into my little trap. Such wonderful creatures, you mortals. So full of yearnings. So full of hunger. Demon! Let's end this quickly. Indeed. 
My thirst grows moment by moment. Right. Cut them down! Time for some fun! Get back, fiends. My favorite part! <laughs> Destructive forces of nature coming right! This is it! Well, that was easy. You have released me, stranger. After being trapped for so long by my own foolish desires, now I can at last go. Thank you. You're welcome, strange spirit. Halt! Who enters the Black Marsh? You're a Grey Warden, trapped here. Trapped? Then you're just as we are, locked in this endless nightmare. We've been here so long at her mercy. I almost forget what it was like before. There is a spirit that's come to free us. Perhaps you could help him. If only that were possible. Hear me, people! She is evil incarnate! The countless evils I've seen her perpetrate in there! I'm ashamed to even recount them aloud. She orders our children stolen in the night so she can... No! Unhand me, you thugs! Let me go! Don't let them take me! No! You're living an endless nightmare, is he? We can fix I that. I turn around, mistress, I promise. I'd better report this to the guards. Well, if you won't help me find my baby, I'll... I'll go directly to the Baroness. Of course she will. What are you saying? That she... Oh, no. I... I just refuse to believe that. No, not even she would ever... She couldn't have. The mansion will not protect you, fiend. Come out and face your crime. We aren't afraid of you any longer. The witch hides. Break down the door. Be cautious, my friends. The Baroness has power within her lair, and she well knows it. We rush in at our peril. And who comes now? More minions of the Baroness? Or yet more helpless souls she has tormented? We are Grey Wardens, brought here against our will. I cannot say what a Grey Warden is, but clearly you are a stranger. Perhaps it is a sign. I am Justice. I have watched this place and seethed at the wrongs visited on these poor folk. And now I seek to aid them. Once we lived in the real world and the Baroness ruled over us. She took our children and used their blood to work dark and evil magic. And when we burned down her mansion, she cast one final spell that brought our spirits here. We've been trapped ever since, still under her rule. This spirit knows the Fade. If we help him, he might help us. I think that since the Baroness trapped these people here, that she's our best chance of getting out. Tell me, stranger. Will you help us in this righteous task? Being a Grey Warden appears to make you an able sort, and thus, your aid would be most welcome. I would gladly help you, sir. You seem a noble soul. Then we have the numbers to challenge the Baroness directly. They just said she was an evil, powerful witch. Do, do we really want to antagonize her? Yes. Yes, we do. If we defeat her, we can make her use her magic to help us. And then we kill her. Hmm. Well, there's a thought. All right. You convince me. My intention is to storm the gate. Are you ready? I am ready. Good people. We take the battle directly to the witch. For too long have her crimes gone unpunished. Now is the time to reclaim your freedom! My, my. All that shouting outside, and now you finally decided to barge in, without even a proper invitation. Foul sorceress. You will release these poor folk and submit yourself to justice. Justice? Is that what you're calling it? 
What of their punishment? Burning my home to the ground and me within it. Because you were stealing our children, using their blood to feed your vanity. As was my due. You lived on my land, I, your rightful ruler. Your blood was mine, just as your lives are now. Your lives are not yours any longer. What's this? The pathetic fools have managed to recruit yet more sympathizers? We are no longer alone, Baroness. Your reign ends here. As it happens, I am no longer alone either. My path back across the Vale lies in victory over you and your new allies. Then the Mother will pay for her treachery. I fear you turn up again sooner or later. We must be ending this. Now! The Grey Warden, it is more dangerous than you know. Oh, as you wish, creature. Slay them and you shall have the reward you requested. Enough! The battle is joined! Get her justice! No! You fool! Why haven't you defeated them? They are too much. It must be sending me back through the veil. Now, before it is too late. Oh, I will sunder the veil all right. I'll send them all back. But you? Your life is going to provide the power. No! No! Garrick, son! Where am I? What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is a mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. So... Uh, it seems we're in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> Spirit of Justice, how did you get here? The witch sundered the veil in her haste. All of us were drawn through. She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby. Wow, isn't she dead just like all the others? You misunderstand. The Baroness, she is not as mortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now, that is a demon of pride. She assumed that role long ago to feed from the mortal she trapped. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. What do you propose then? The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed lest they continue to spill demons out into this world. I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic but if we are to deal with the Baroness, we must move swiftly. So this is the world of mortals. How very dull it seems. So immutable and unchanging. Yet, I am here. 
I have crossed the veil. The spirits will watch in envy as the mortals of this realm bow down before me. That will not happen, demon. Ah. It seems I was not the only one to be drawn here. How very tiresome. Defeating you one more time won't be a problem. Is that so? We shall see, won't we? All right. We'll see about that. All right, where are you going? Victory will be ours. Why are you running? Why are you running? Let's make this quick, shall we? And so it is done. For what it is worth, thank you. I have fulfilled my vow. May the victims of that woman's madness rest in peace, wherever they have gone to now. You don't know where they went? No, the spirits believe there is a place beyond the Fade, but we have no more answers to such things than you mortals. It seems I cannot return to the Fade. I am trapped here, in the body of this Grey Warden. There are memories within this poor man's mind. They are... They're difficult to see, but he was a Grey Warden. He was slain by the Darkspawn, the one called the First? The Darkspawn are who the Grey Wardens fight. And that was your pursuit when you were tricked into the Fade. Yes, I understand now. It seems I am at a loss. I know nothing of this world and have only a few memories of this Grey Warden to draw from. I do not wish to die. What shall I do, mortal? You seem to be a creature of good character, and you are of this world. Can you advise me? Join me. The body you inhabit belong to a Grey Warden. You mean continue this mortal's mission? As a Grey Warden? It was a Darkspawn who murdered this mortal most ignobly, and the ones that commanded it yet live. To avenge his death. Yes, that would be a purpose. Very well. I will join you, Grey Warden, if you will allow it. Should I call you Kristoff, then? That is not my name. I have no name. Only a virtue to which I aspire. If I am to need a name, then use that. I am Justice. And for now, I am pleased to travel at your side, Grey Warden. The sky is so different in this place. So unchanging. Ah, uh, my friend, I must disagree. It changes so much. From day to night. From bright and sunny to rainy and grey. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. It is so vast, Justice. You still have a lot to see. But I certainly hope that you feel at home with us. How does one describe a sensation? I have no words for it. In time, Justice. In time. There is much about this world and its ways I do not know. Perhaps it is not for me to judge. Why do spirits seek out mages? I've always wondered. You speak of demons. I am not a demon. Aren't demons simply spirits with unique and sparkling personalities? They have been perverted by their desires. But what do they want from mages? Perhaps they wish the same as I. Silence! Mother? It comes with sweet news, I hope. Tell the mother! The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked Wardens. They killed the first, killed him. Cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? <laughs> dead? No. <laughs> Peace! I wished him 
peace, to find the song again, to hear the sweet call. We are all lost, but the day will come when the silence ends. <laughs> Even. Kristoff. Oh, thank the Maker. I fear you are mistaken, mortal. Kristoff? Why are you... What has happened? Uh... Perhaps you should calm down. Calm down? Calm down? Your husband is gone, and I inhabit this body now. His death will be avenged, I assure you. Avenged? You've desecrated his body, how dare you! It was not intentional. There was- Get away from me! This body has memories of this woman. Aura is her name. I did not know she would come. Poor woman. Must be a shock to learn this. I must rectify this somehow. Intentionally or not, I have done this woman a great disservice. So just make her angrier. Let her grieve. I cannot. My memories suggest her home is in Amaranthin. It will prey on me if we do not seek her out. There must be something that could be done to assuage her pain. Something. I'll see what I can do. The Darkspawn call our attention. But should we get the chance to seek her out, I would be grateful. Psst. Psst. Warden. You want to talk with me? Haren is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art. The art of crafting. But you... You're not so dreadfully common. Yeah, I did have you make all that cool dragon armor for me. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things. Things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade? What are you about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Remember, fantastical materials. Can you make anything with this ancient dragon bone? Where did you find this? I could make a blade. A blade unparalleled. Oh my, oh my. Where's that list? Quick, gather these things. Hurry, there's history to make here. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> You're the one who blew up those dark spawn, right? Good work. Oh, kind of you to notice. I that was my work. The name is Dworken Glavenock. Some call me Dworken the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. You have to be a little mad in my line of research. Did you invent these explosives? I developed these particular formulations. But it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. Is there any way I can help? I enjoy explosives as well. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. All right, we'll talk later. Don't blow yourself up. I'll be careful. Careful-ish. Are you saying that you could become a demon, Justice? I said no such thing. You said that demons were spirits perverted by their desires. I have no such desires. You must have some desires. I have none. Desist your questions. Seem rather defensive there, Justice. Where is he? I know he's here. Cough him up, Warden. Uh... Belsy? <laughs> um, do you have an appointment? You're not gonna pull the moss over my eyes. Ogren, get your hairy ass down here! Hang on to your beard, woman. Is this a conjugal visit? <laughs> Looking for Ogren to grease the old wheel? Don't lay a finger on me. You've done a lot of stupid things on a whim, but joining the Wardens... <laughs> Didn't you say it would be hot? We were role playing. I'm not listening. 
Look, I didn't sign up on a whim, all right? You kicked me out. You were just looking for an excuse. You kept trying to make me into something I'm not. I can't play house like you want me to. I'm only good at one thing, Fells, and it's killing. And he is right. He is pretty good at killing. He's always been good at killing. That and making absolutely nug brain decisions. You had a good thing in the army. They respected you. Ah, <sighs> Felsey. I finally got the old conqueror on straight, and I don't belong anywhere but here. Fine, Ogren, if that's what you want. The baby and I will just have to get by without you. Are you going after her? I just end up being hit. She's a tiny thing, but packs a surprising wallop. And in this mood, she'd go straight for my danglers. Come on, there's Darkspawn waiting to be killed. Hey, I gotta... I gotta thank you for saving my hide today. There was that guy, and he was all... And I was... But then I got hit by an arrow. And then I fell over, and it was... Meep. But you were there, and you were all raw! <laughs> Spectaculous! Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to help. Sounds about right. I'm gonna drink to you, Commander. Here's to the... Here's to the... Uh, oh. <sighs> this is a chest of belongings once owned by the man whose body I now inhabit. His essence lingers upon these objects like dust. You can feel it? I can even hear it whispering his name into the ether. In the Fade, nothing outlives the spirit that created it. Here, everything does. This world has fingerprints on top of fingerprints. Witness to beings long dead. Can you tell anything from these fingerprints? How does one describe a sensation? I have no words for it. The man who owned these things was a great warden like yourself, yes? We intend to avenge him? Of course. Vengeance is one of my favorite things. Good. These Darkspawn are a cancer within the heart of this world. <sighs> but there is nothing that can be done just yet, is there? A world so full of beauty that beauty goes overlooked. I must see it with different eyes. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil. But the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals. We do not envy them. Thanks for that. We uh, appreciate it. You misunderstand. We are wrong about this world. There is beauty here. And the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. Are you saying we're friends now? A friend? That is an interesting concept. I do not know how to respond to that. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? Raw Lyrium is kind of dangerous. Not to a body that is already dead, surely. I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear. But it summons an ache I didn't know I had. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That is most kind. What's this? A baby's plaything? You said you wanted a pony. Wait, you paid attention to what I said when I was drunk? Oh, that's special. Ooh, hey, wanna buy a bridge? Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> ah, just as well. The real one's poop. This is... <laughs> You make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. So, what about it, huh? Huh? <laughs> what about what, Ogren? I was thinking about my plan for a grand fleet of Mabari chariots. Talked to your dog about it once. Didn't seem impressed. Thing is, the Grey Wardens could use a snazzier image. Everyone thinks we're a grim stick in the muds. Oh, and the ladies love them chariots. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, you. Is you there? You. That's Commander Hey You, by the way. Oh, you're a 
tricky one, but you're not getting into my head. Oh no, you with your murmuring, your buzzing. I know your plan, but it won't work. I'm on to you. Why don't you lie down and rest for a bit, eh, buddy? Yeah, that's what you want me to do, isn't it? Oh, I know. I got my eye on you. Oh. Oh. Have fun on the floor.